Hi guys, so today I'm going to tell you how to set up your digital meter right here. I bought it from AliExpress or we call it on eBay. So what we need to do is we have two buttons over here on the top and the bottom. We need to press this button on the top and at the same time we need to turn on the engine. So I need to turn off the engine once again. Okay, I managed to turn off the engine. So I press the button over here. And I start the engine. So in the first menu, we have the menu setting for the width of the uh, rim so currently this is a motorcycle meter so it's not relatively accurate on how many inch that I have in my car when I'm using a 17 inch uh, rim or wheel so for this one you have to do trial and error you have to do you have to do the trial and error for instance, when it's too fast, we have to make it like a bigger, a smaller or bigger, I can't remember which one. But on the setting, from one digit to the other digit, we just leave it alone. And it automatically change to another digit, yeah, as you can see over here. So on the, this digit, you can push on the top button once again. And it will change till zero back again. So, after you just set it, you're going to go skip on to the next button. So, this uh, figure is in a millimeter. If you have a motorcycle, it's okay, it's accurate. But currently, I'm using it in my YTSS or 240, or you call it in the, in the States, 240, we call it in 180 in Malaysia. So, I managed to install it in the car using a motorcycle. Cluster. So on the next page, I'm going to press on the top button once again. Wait till like 3 or 4 seconds. And we are in the second menu. On this menu, you can change it from 2, 3, till 12. So what is it? It's the uh, magnetic sensor for the motorcycle rim. So it will pick up the rotation of the wheel so for this I use two why I'm using two because uh, in one TSX which is I still have intact my original speedometer behind here but it doesn't have any any details we have to use the output from that signal to in into this uh, new meter so you use two pulses so I need to use uh, two parts of way also and it seems accurate so I change it to the next page page number three it's number four I said number four because it is for four pistons and this is for two pistons so currently my car is a uh, 200 uh, SR20 DET yes it has four pistons so I change it to four pistons for V8 or 8 piston or 3, 6 piston, I believe you cannot use this uh, meter into your car. So for the next uh, page, this is uh, page number 4. This is for the fuel. This is 2 lines or 3 lines. Honestly, frankly speaking, I don't know what is two lines and three lines. I man only managed to uh, use the signal from my original uh, sensor and hook up into this meter, and it works pretty well without the anti slush system because this is a cheapest uh, motorcycle meter. So, on the next page is Number five, this is uh, to change between cam H 
or MPH relatively easy page number 6 uh, we can reset the odometer from whatever it is that you have and uh, set back to 0 so currently I mine is 0, 0, 0, 0 because the brake is new so that's end of the setting so let me show you the whether it is accurate or not you can see over here the RPM and this is the DFE ZD about 800 when I press the gas it goes to 2000 and it's about 2000 also so it's barely accurate so what I did is I removed all the function. This is I believe is the fuel gauge. I I removed the fuel gauge, the temperature, the I think this is tachometer on here and speedometer on here. You just need to have your old speedometer gauge and take out the sensor. I mean, use the sensor or signal from the speedometer gauge just remove the needle that's all so guys thank you that's my tutorial or setting on how to set up your meter on your car thank you